Greetings and salutations, you guys. Heaton here. Welcome to our late night live sale this Saturday, September 9th, 2023. How's everyone doing today? I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. My name is Adrian. Welcome to the live sale. If you guys are new to the channel or to the live sales, welcome. So happy to have you here. All the sale info and stuff is going to be right there, right next to me. And you can also read that down below in the description box as well. And if you're watching the live, after it's already over, you can check down below in the description box for items availability and their pricing. And that's for all previous live sale videos as well. But let's see who is in here. Um, there's West Coast Gal. Hello. Hi, Linda. Beatrice says hi to everyone as well. Happy Saturday. Did everyone have a good day? Did anyone do anything exciting? Anything fun? Any good thrift finds? Anyone go thrifting? Hey, Trip. How's it going? <laughs> Wubba, lubba, kanubba, subba? How's it going, you guys? Did anyone do any thrifting today? Did anyone find anything cool? Anyone do anything fun? Hi, Tara. How are you? Talk slower. <laughs> That's impossible. I actually used to talk way faster. I've slowed. I've slowed down. I've slowed down these past few years. I feel like I used to talk really, 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 really fast. But hi, Cindy. Hi, Lori. How are you guys? Oh, Linda, you went swimming? How was it? Today was a really nice warm day, too. So it was like the perfect swimming day. That's awesome. Did the did the grandkids come, too? Did you guys all go swimming? Two updates. I got a new motorcycle, and I have... <gasps> what? You have vertigo, but you got a new motorcycle? That's not good, though. You can't motorcycle when you have vertigo, right? Hey, Sam. How's it going? Happy Saturday. Hi, Tanya. I'm like... I think I got two or three bug bites. Like, coming from the car into the house. These bugs are... Cre the... the the, um, what are they called? Mosquitoes are out of control. Now there's, like, this new mosquito that just came here. I think I, like, was it from China or something in container crates from, like, those, like, lucky bamboo things that you buy at the store? And they are, like, crazy. Can't even... <gasps> no, Trip, that's awful! Do they, do, did they find out why, like, where the vertigo is coming from? Is it like one of those inner ear things? Oh, <laughs> it's still the same one from yesterday. I didn't switch it out. It's still that um, the extra large puzzle. It's still this one. Oh no, calcium crystals in the inner. That's awful. How long is it going to take for it to go away? <gasps> Wait, what kind of gift with purchase? I just saw that um, Dior is doing a gift with purchase right now, and it's like this super cute like fan. And oh, and I also saw the fan at a resale store, but it's not the same exact one. I think it was the one from like the previous time they did it. How much was it again? Uh, how, I don't remember how much it was, but it was expensive, and I was like. To get it right now, I think the gift for, uh, for the gift with purchase, you have to spend like a hundred or hundred and fifty dollars, and then you get the little fan. And you get like a little container case for it. So, I think it was definitely over a hundred dollars though. But yeah, Trip, you want to see the Harley? Send me a photo of it so I can post it up. But I'm a sucker for a gift with purchase. <laughs> or like a discount. Uh, I love a good discount. But 
But Trip, let me know when you send the email, and then I will check it. Oh, if you guys can help me think of a giveaway question too. Um, I have, I, like I said yesterday, I have another one of these pouches. I have two more. So, we'll have one tonight and then another one the next live. But this is just another Furla pouch. They're super cute. I love the little faces on them. They look like little owls. But let's see how I got all that from the real, real. Ooh, Linda! What kind of, uh, what kind of wallet? Is it like a... Like a big zippy, or is it like a small zip around? Ah, oh, perfect trip. Let me check it out. Let's see. Can't wait to see the new Harley. Wait, trip. Did you send it to my email, or did you send a? Is it on Instagram or something? Hold on. Let me see if it's on Instagram. Wait, maybe it's still sending. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, beautiful. Hold on, Trev. I'm going to get your new... Wow, this is a beautiful, beautiful motorcycle. That's Trip's new motorcycle. Isn't it amazing? Aren't the patches so cute, Linda? Okay, you guys have to help me think of the giveaway question. So, um, I can leave the link for the giveaway. And then we can get started. But Trip, I can't wait for you to get better so you can take that baby out for a spin. That looks really cool. A zip around section, I think a little coin area. Oh, I, Linda, I know they're kind of like notorious for not having like the best descriptions and stuff. My favorite is when like, so I feel like sometimes they recycle photos for certain items because sometimes I'll see like the same item posted twice and then they're different prices. And then like the descriptions will be like a little bit different but it's like the photos are exactly of the same item. So it's really weird. But I've seen that like a couple times in the past for like um, Chanel bags, um, some Loewe pieces, um, like all sorts of stuff. So it's really like, I don't know. I don't know if they just like accidentally upload the wrong photos or something. Oh, yeah, and I've heard, like, on TikTok, I saw this one, like, this one lady, she bought these Hermes boots, and they were, like, totally different boots that she got. It was crazy. And it took, like, really, really long for her to get them, like, weeks. Ooh, West Coast guy, that's a good question. What's the most you would pay for a concert ticket? Okay, leave your answer in the comments of this video right here that I linked, and then at the end of the live sale tonight, we'll be announcing our giveaway winner for that Furla pouch. I don't know how much I would pay for a concert ticket. It has to be a really good concert because I don't really like I don't I don't like going to concerts or loud music. Hey Steffi, how's it going? Oh, I don't know where they are. I think I left that in the car. Oh, I think it's right here. I don't know. Oh, I think I found it. Alright, you guys, I got a couple pretty fun sunglasses tonight. So, I don't know if I should start with those. But, um, this first pair I got 
for people with um, smaller size craniums. So this is not for the big head brigade by any means because these sunglasses are way too small for me. So if you have like a regular sized head, these sunglasses would be perfect for you. Ooh, Linda, let me take a look. Let's see. Balenciaga wallet. It's not coming up. Linda, it's not coming up. It's just coming up like... It's just as the item has sold, and it's not showing the item anymore. Oh, maybe it's this. Like, the first one. Hold on. I think it might be this. Uh. Just let me sign in. This thing is being difficult. It's making me sign in. My email and password is invalid. I just want to see the item. Just leave me alone. Is it this one, Linda? Hold on, I just want to... It won't let me pull up the page because it won't let me sign in and my password doesn't work for some reason. Is it this? If it's that, that's pretty cool. I like the closure. But if that's it, that's pretty cool. Hi, Don. How are you? Beatrice says hi to everyone, too. I never had a... <laughs> Linda. Yes. I love it. I love sunglasses. You guys already know how much I... I'm obsessed. Oh, okay, yeah. It's a cute wallet. It won't let me open it, though. Hold on. Let me see if I can open it on my phone, because I have the app. It says, like, my password is incorrect, but, like, it should, like, go from my phone to the computer, but it's being difficult. Oh, see, there it goes. It works on my phone. That's cute, though. Does it have a little keychain thing? I can't tell. I hate that it doesn't have a photo of it open. It literally just has three photos. But that's a really good deal that you got, though. Eighty-eight fifty. That's a good deal. Ooh, is that a... <gasps> Ooh, Loewe Mini Goya Puffer for 1705 That's a sale. But it's really cute, Linda. I like the wallet. I think I really like the hardware on it. I think it's really unique. All right, let's get started. Our first item for the night is I have a pair of these are Oliver People sunglasses. They're in like this opaque, kind of like nude tan color. And then it, um, you can see, like, through it, and it has, like, the gold hardware inside. They're really, really nice. They're definitely too small for me. Like, tiny. But for a regular, or, like, a person with a regular size head, these would look really, really nice. And they're in really, really great shape. I love Oliver People sunglasses. They're one of my favorites. I really want to expand my Oliver People Sunglasses. I actually just got a new pair. They're in my bag. It was $25. Oh, that's an, that's really cheap then. That's a really good deal. So these are our Oliver People sunglasses in opaque nude color. Hardware. And these are how much, Adrian? 
Okay, let's do these. We're going to do these for just $85. They're in really good shape, too. Very light wear. And that is item number one. $85 for our Oliver Peoples. <laughs> Erica, you are too kind. I feel like they just look better on... I feel like in person, they look atrocious. For some reason, like, on camera, sunglasses sometimes look different. Like, in, I have a mirror right there. They look tiny. <laughs> but, um... That, these are going to be item number one, our, um, all over people's sunglasses. I like the color on those, too. I wish that, like, they had those in a larger size. They're just too small for me. All right, next up, we have number two. Should I just do all the sunglasses that I have here right now? Or? Okay. I'll just do a couple of sunglasses first, if that's okay. I just have them all right here, and I'm excited about them. Um, I think I might have showed these ones before, but I really, really like them. These are some Gucci sunglasses. They're in black. They have Gucci in gold on the side with their red and green and gold stripes. They're a, sl they're a cat eye. These are a really good size. So these, if you're part of the Big Head Brigade, these will look really, really good. I love the size of these. They cover my eyebrows. Love them. Uh, so these are going to be item number two, and these are in really great shape as well. Black Gucci cat eye sunglasses, and these were... Okay, these are 125 Hi, Finding Solace! <gasps> Linda, that is not weird at all. That's amazing. Congratulations. I'm excited for you. Because after that surgery, you're going to be running around. We're going to go thrifting. It's going to be so much fun. How are you finding Solace? Happy Saturday. I'm going to leave the link so you can enter the giveaway. We have um, another pouch tonight. It's another furla pouch. <gasps> In five days? <gasps> oh my gosh. There's the link for the giveaway for anyone that hasn't had a chance to enter. So head over to that link. Leave your answer in the comments. Don't forget to give the live video a thumbs up as well. And then that video um, where you leave the comment. And that would be greatly appreciated. Okay, this next pair of sunglasses though. These are my favorite. And they're actually really, really cool. Um, and I'm not going to be sad if no one buys these because... They just be cool and fun to have in the collection. But this is our second item. Yes, Linda, yes! I feel like that's too far away. Is there any way you can speak, like, we can do it like, sooner than that? This is the next pair. These are large and in charge. These are a pair, another pair of Gucci sunglasses. These are so much fun. They are black, and then they have, like, the glitter... And the glitter is inside the plastic, so you're not, like, it's just, like, a smooth texture. None of that glitter is going to fall off. It's also on the sides as well. Super, super fun. Just have the gold Gucci logo hardware on the sides as well. Really, really great size. And these, um, they have, like, a nice squeeze to them still. They're, like, literally so new. You know, like, when you get new pair of sunglasses, they're a really tight squeeze, and you got to, like, kind of break them in a little bit. That's how these feel. So even if you have a smaller size head, these will fit really nice because these are gonna th these sunglasses will hug your cranium. If I wear these for too long, I know I will get a headache. <laughs> so these are our rainbow glitter Gucci square sunglasses, and these are how much for Okay, these are gonna be hundred and seventy-five dollars. These are in really really good shape, like new condition. So fun. <gasps> Steffi! <laughs> These are so fun. Oh, Hipatia is calling up. Hipatia, congratulations. Number three. The Gucci sunglasses are going to get I think, Hipatia, you might be one, one per, a person that rivals my sunglass collection. I think you might actually have more than I do. 
Okay, so that's item number three. Congratulations to Apatia for the Gucci sunglasses. They are amazing. All right, next up, number four. Actually, let me get a case already for them. All right, next up. I have, okay, let's do, those are, I think those are all my new sunglasses. Oh, I, I also still have these, like, eyeglasses. These have a prescription in them. Um, these are the Jacques... Jacques Marie Maj. Jacques Marie Maj. I don't know how to pronounce it. These are so cool. If they were, like, a little bit bigger... And also the prescription, if they were just a little bit weaker, I would be able to wear them. But, um, let me type it out. It's Jacques... Marie Maj. I think that's how you spell it. And these are really fancy sunglasses. They're handmade in Japan. Um, this is number 153 or 500. They always make these like in limited edition like batches and stuff. Um, and these, like just the resale of these glasses is like about 500, 400, 500 dollars or more. And this is a really nice pair. They kind of remind me of Stanley Tucci's sunglasses, eyeglasses. You know Stanley Tucci? He's like the guy, he was in Devil Wears Prada. Um, they're really, really cute. You're going to have to get your prescription put inside of them, though. But they are really, or you can put sunglass lenses inside of them. They're really, really cute. Just on me, if you're part of the Big Head Brigade, they're going to be a little bit smaller. But they're not, like, too small. I just like my glasses really, really big. But these are actually, like, the size of the glasses that I wear, like, my prescription glasses. But my prescription is, like, really, really, really weak. It's pretty much just so that I don't have to squint at stuff. Um, but the glasses are beautiful. They're black, and then they have a tortoise shell kind of, like, inlay inside. So you see, like, the, a, a hint of the tortoise shell on the bottom right here. But then if you look inside, you see them there. Uh, yeah. Stanley, isn't Stanley Tucci the best? Hmm? Okay, so this is going to be item number five. Our Jacques Marie Maj prescription eyeglasses. And these are 175, and that is item number five. Okay, now let's do some bags. Or that was item number four, I think, right? I think that was item number four. I messed up the numbers. That's actually item number four. Hold on, let me just fix this. I'm a hot mess. All right. There we go. Right? Do you remember him? He was, like, in, um... He was in Devil Wears Prada. He was in... He was in Hunger Games, right? Hunger Games. Like, all of the Hunger Games movies. Um, you know they're reprising... They're, aren't they, like, redoing Hunger Games? Or something? Um, he was in... I'm trying to think what else. Why am I only thinking... Of, he was in, like, Burlesque. <laughs> It's 175. I'm sorry, Hannah. I messed up. Everything was messed up when I typed it out that first time. Okay, next up, this is the actual number five. Everything is stuck together. All right. Um, this next... How do I open... This? Oh, you pressed it. <gasps> okay. Okay. 
Okay, this is our next item. And this one is super duper fun. This is a Kate Spade glitter satchel. And it has like these... I don't even know what to call them. But like... This. <laughs> um, I... Th Oh, you know, it's missing one, two, three of the middle inner jewels. Four. I didn't even notice. Okay, it's missing um, a couple of the middle inner jewel pieces. It's honestly really hard to even tell because you can't really tell unless you look really hard at it. Because even without the actual jewels, it still looks like the jewels are in there. But... It's really, really pretty. It's a lighter blue on the sides, and then you have that same navy glitter in the back as well. It has a little hang tag right here. Linda, the mosquitoes are so crazy, and mosquitoes love me. My mom literally, like, we go outside, and the mosquitoes swarm me. And they don't go to my mom at all. Like, she's like a mosquito repellent. Like, mosquitoes don't bite her. But they just follow me around. Like, it's crazy. If I go out the house, even if I'm just going to take out the trash into the dump, like, the little bin, and I come back inside, I might have a bug bite. Like, it's nuts. I don't know how, but this one is really special. I think this one is super duper fun. It has a little hang tag. I love the way it opens. It has a little button right here. And you press it. And that releases the closure. And then the interior, it just looks like that. It just has, like, two main compartments and the middle zipper compartment. It comes with all of the little cards and stuff inside. Um, it's nuts. It's really, really cute. I guess this bag retailed for $398 was the retail price for this bag. So, super special, super fun. The crossbody strap is removable and it is adjustable. And, again, it is missing... One, two, three, I think. Is it three? It's really hard. Oh, four. I don't know. It's really hard to tell where the crystals are. Um, This is, like, one that's missing. It's, like, it looks like the crystal is still in there, but there's, like, a middle crystal piece that's not in there. Like, you literally have to stare at it really hard to even tell that it's missing. That's why I didn't even notice inside the store until now. But it's really, really pretty. Hana, I'm the same way. <laughs> Erica, yes. My mom, well, I was also born in the Philippines too, but mosquitoes just love me. But like my, my mom and my sister, they don't really get, like they don't get bug bites at all. Um, my dad, my brother, and especially me, like I get the most, the most. It is nuts. This is our glitter Kate Spade satchel with gold hardware. And this one is how much, Peter? Yeah. Let's do, like, 65. Okay, let's do this one for 65. It's missing a couple jewels, but honestly, you can't even tell unless you look really hard at it that the middle jewel pieces are missing. Um, but that's item number five. It's $65. Otherwise, the bag is in really great shape. Just, you might even be able to find replacement jewels to put inside the little thing. Um, <laughs> honestly, same. Oh, how, how did the cookies turn out that you made for your nephew's birthday? Have you guys eaten them already? I want cookies really bad. I was hoping that there'd be cookies today when I got home, but there were no cookies today. All right, next up. We got number six. All right, number six. I have... Oh, let me show this really quickly. I still have the extra large um, Dior saddlebag. And it's in black pebbled leather. I've shown this a bunch of times before, but this is still available if anyone's interested. The strap is fully adjustable, so you can make, uh, make it short like this as a shoulder bag, or you can extend it and wear it. As a crossbody, there's a pocket in the front. Open it up. There's another zipper compartment on the interior. And this is 
Item number six, our extra large Dior black leather saddlebag with brass hardware. I'm gonna... Oh, I bet on it. Oh my gosh, she made like a thousand cookies. Wait, how much made her? Okay, this one's 1,400. So we're still doing that um, discount price that we had last time. It says item number six, 1,400. Oh, man. I love a good cupcake, too. Wait, what kind of cookies did you make, Hana? Okay, next up, this is like super random, but it's super cute for anyone that may be a fan of... Oh, it's damaged. No. The zippers are like a little, like a couple teeth are missing. <gasps> I didn't even notice. I'm so sad. Yeah, the Hunter Hunter one. Yeah. That's so sad. It's so cute though. Yeah, a couple teeth are missing from right here. It's still zipped though. But I didn't even notice that it just catches a little bit, but it's still zipped closed. Yeah, but it'll pry open, which is such a bummer. I wonder what you could do to that. Probably nothing. Yeah, oh, that's be awful. Never mind, I guess I just have to re-donate this or something. Should I just, like, let someone have it if they want it? Huh? No, I don't think they will. Okay, does anyone want this? If anyone wants it... How much did they get this for? Oh man, I got this for 13 bucks. If anyone wants this Hunter Hunter backpack for 13 bucks, it's available. I'm not going to actually put it up though, but if anyone wants it. The zipper is like, some of the teeth are missing, so... Like, it still zips, but... I'm sad. This is such a cute backpack. I love Hunter Hunter so much. But it's, um... Yeah, it's just like the Hunter Hunter backpack. It has Gone and Kilua and, um, Karapika. I think that's how you pronounce it. I can't believe I actually remember all their names. That's amazing. Oh, and it has... Oh, now I can't remember his name. What's the other guy's name? The one that wants to be a doctor? I can't remember his name. But anyway, let's do another item. Let's do this one instead. Okay, this is for the BTS fans. I have this really cute... Melissa BTS crossbody bag. Ooh, yes! Watching Moana in the background, one of my Disney favorites. <gasps> I love Moana! I was just singing um, the Moana theme song the other day. And by the other day, I mean on my drive home video, that was loud. Okay, this is a Melissa BTS, like, crossbody phone bag. It's super cute. The crossbody strap is clear, and it just says Melissa on it. And then there's a pocket right here, and it has a little Velcro. Oh, oh, Marilyn, you want it? All right, it is yours then, $13. Congratulations. <laughs> We're just going to add it to your invoice. We're not going to actually put, like, a number for it. But we'll just add it to your invoice for you. Um, it has a Velcro right there. And it's kind of like a phone bag. You can put your phone inside of here. Phone fits inside really nicely. 
And yeah, this is the Melissa BTS crossbody phone bag in gray. Hi, Deb. How are you? Okay, we're going to do this one for $35 if anyone's interested. Oh, Erica, are you serious? That's so cool. I've been staring at the edge of the water. Not me singing the Moana song. Adrian's like, stop singing. Adrian, stop being embarrassed to me. I can't help it. <laughs> it's the Filipino in me. I'm shy, but I still want to sing karaoke anyway. Alright, so that's item number seven, is our BTS-Melissa collaboration um, jelly phone bag. It's so cute, all the little characters are on there. I think my favorite one is, I really like the little horse guy, he's my favorite. So cute. I went to the, um, what's it called? I went to the, there's like a BTS, it's not like only BTS, but it's, um, the brand that, like, like the, that made the little emoji things or whatever in L.A. It was pretty cool. I took a picture with, like, the giant BTS statues and some or something with John. Oh, hi, Linda. Oh, Linda's calling number seven. Congratulations, Yay! Linda. That's Linda N. Yay. How are you? All right, next up. Number eight. <gasps> oh, okay. I have to just show this because it's like one of my favorite bags. I really want someone to get it. I have, this is that brand new Jimmy Choo Sailor Jupiter bag with the Sailor Moon collection. So cute. It has the pearl and jeweled crossbody strap. Um, it has everything except the original dust bag. So it has all the cards and tags and everything, and it's brand new. She's a beauty. And this is item number eight. I love this bag. How much, Adrian? Sailor Moon. Um. Wait, how much? Okay, this is 1150 And that's item number 8. Hana, I'm seriously still shocked, too. Like, it's still, like, one of the craziest things. Like, even though I, I got it from, um, like, a secondhand store that sold it to the store, I got it from Wasteland. Oh! I, I saw the boots today! At, um, at a crossroads. But it wasn't the Sailor Jupiter boots. I don't know which one it was. I should have taken a photo. But it was so far away. But they were really cool. It was another Jimmy... But they were actually, like, the boots that they made for the collection. I don't know. Like, some crazy influencer or something is selling off the Jimmy Choo stuff they got. Oh, Luna? Linda, you have to watch Sailor Moon. It's so fun. Sailor Moon has been... I feel like... When did Sailor Moon come out? Like in the 80s? I think. And then they like redid it. And even though it's like exactly like the same, I think like they redid the art for it. But it's really, really cool. I really like the show. And, like, the manga is, like... But this is what they look like. Um, these are, like, this isn't the actual picture of the boots. But these are what the boots were. But if anyone wants them, um, I can pick them up for you next time I'm there if they're still available. They were a size 10. 
but they were these boots. Um, they were how much were they, Adrian? I don't remember how much they were. I think they were like I think I think they were like four fifty to five hundred. But that's how that's the zoom like a close up of what they look like on the sides. So there's Luna's cute little face. And that's what the heels look like. They were really, really cool. They were size ten. So if anyone's interested, I can pick them up for you the next time I'm over there. Yeah, Erica, they were like um I remember they actually showed Sailor Moon right before we went to go to school, like before we left school. Yeah, Hana, they are. They're like sock. They're like the stretchy sock boots. Noonies are not. I was legit. <laughs> I don't know how anyone can walk in heels. So anyone that can, like kudos, because it. Yeah. Vadrian's like, sorry, you can't be me. Vadrian wears like five inch stilettos every day. Alright, number nine is next. <gasps> this one, I really, really love this bag. This is a Claire V. Um, what would you call this? Like a like a kiss lock bag? And it's made out of this like super soft royal blue like fur. It has a crossbody strap. The strap also is removable. So you pop this open and the interior you can... Oh, not, it, yeah. You can put it inside. You can actually remove it. But you can if you want it. You just need some pliers. You can open up the chain. But you can tuck it inside. Uh, but Claire V is just the chambray lining on the inside. Nice and clean. This is made in California. Such a cute little bag. So you can just carry it like this or carry it as a crossbody. It's super duper cute. It's so, so soft. And it's in like new condition. It's really, really great. The hardware still looks really good. Very minimal marks on it. And yeah, it's just a gold frame and this beautiful royal blue purple color fur. Uh, this is our clear V Royal Blue Fur um, Kiss Block Clutch Cross Body Bag with Full Cover. And this one's how much, Peter? This one's $85. I love it too, Linda. I remember I had, um, that other clear I had the same exact bag but it was in like that neon like highlighter yellow but that one didn't have the longer strap it was just the clutch like this without the strap so I think I really like it with the option of the strap I think that's really cool but that's this guy right here our clear Vivier super cute and that was $85 number nine all right next up we have Okay, this one is a vintage coach, and it's made in, this one's made in Costa Rica. This is the larger, like, crossbody flap bag. Uh, it has the hang tag. It's in this beautiful red color, and it has silver hardware. Open it up. You got the interior zipper pocket, and then the interior lining is nice and clean. This bag's in actually really, really good shape. I think it just has like some, it's kind of like almost like a scratch, like a like that. I think with a little conditioner, it'll pretty much go away. There's a little bit of like rubbing on the corners, some dryness, but again, a little conditioner I think will get that looking really, really good. Um, has the original hang tag on there, and there's also a little dryness on the front too, right there. But otherwise. It's in really, really good shape. Made in Costa Rica. Coach Crossbody. This is number 10. And 
And this one we're going to do for $60. That's going to be item number 10. 60 Oh, I missed number 9. What was number 9 again? Oh. How much was that? 85. Thank you. Alright, next up is number 11. And we have... I still have this guy. Oh, Lady Badger's called number 10. Congratulations, Lady Badger. Yay! Yay! Number 10. Oh, are you Lady Badger? I didn't see you there. Happy Saturday. Okay. Number 11 is our Loewe right here. This is the Loewe balloon bucket bag. This is in like new condition. Um, it's a natural colored canvas and then a golden brown leather. Um, it's suede on the interior and it just has one interior pocket and it does come with the little dice as well, the little dice charm on there. Bags of Beauty has a giant Loewe anagram logo on the bottom, and she's in perfect condition. Oh, you just woke up, Lady Badger? So this is um, Loewe. Oh, that's right, it's late. Um, balloon, bucket bag, and canvas, and leather with silver hardware. How much is this reading? Okay, this is just 1,100. Again, this one is in brand new condition, number 11. Yeah. Okay, next up is number 12. I have another Claire V piece for number 12. And it is this super cute tote. Hold on. The little leather pieces are flying around. Um, this one is in this white color. It has gold hardware. It does have like some marks on it. There's like a little spot right there where some of the color was like kind of scratched or worn off. Uh, and there's a couple other little spots on the side just for like wear. But it's such a beautiful bag. The leather is super duper soft. It's unlined, um, but it does have some pen stains, some marks on the interior. But I feel like it's such a cool tote still. It has so much life. You can still, you can also wear it on your shoulder, the strap. And this one is going to be our white Claire V tote bag with gold hardware. This is gonna be... I've never shown this before, either. Okay, we're doing this one for... We're just gonna do 50. It has, like, some stains on the inside, but I feel like it still is such a cool bag. I know this bag is pretty expensive. I think it retails for, like, 350 but it's a nice size, too. It's kind of like the size of uh, Louis Vuitton. Maybe like an MM is the size of that one. And the leather is buttery soft on this. And that's number 12. Alright, 13 is next. And... Ooh, for 13, I gotta do my J.W. Anderson. I love this bag. Again, this is brand new with tags. It's in this beautiful... I know, Lady Badger, it's so, it's, oh, like, Snow White. Um, this is our metallic blue, J.W. Anderson crossbody bag. This is so fun. I have all the tags on the inside. Um, I have the strap um, shortened. You can actually make it shorter, so it's a shoulder strap. Extend it so you can wear it as a crossbody. I love the chunky hardware detail on the side. The tone-on-tone -tone hardware is amazing. I'm kind of obsessed. 
all of the tags and everything are inside. This was purchased from um, Neiman Marcus, which is on there. Interior looks like this is one interior pocket right there. And it does have like some like slight discoloration just right there on the on the suede. But it's not very noticeable. It's just in that one corner. Otherwise, the bag is pristine. And again, it has all of the original tags and everything. And this is number 13. Our J.W. Anderson metallic blue leather flap bag. And this is, okay, let's just do this one for 300, you guys. So we're going to do 13 for 300. That's our J.W. Anderson 300. All right, next up, number 14. I love it, too. And your, the largest iPhone will fit inside of here, too. Such a fun bag. I think retail for this one was almost a 1000 Alright, next up. Metallics are, like, so in right now, too. I love that um, Beyonce had everyone wear silver to her... Um, to, to her performance in LA on her birthday. And that was really fun. Silver is my fave. I love silver. Alright, next up, I have another vintage coach bag. Um, this one is also in red, but this one has gold hardware. Um, it has a large front pocket right there. It does have feet on the bottom. This one has the brass hardware. Um, this one does have, like, more rubbing and stuff, like, on the corners, but the leather is nice and shiny still. Um, some spots can use a little bit more conditioner, though, especially, like, the edges and stuff. But I feel like it is really, really nice. It does dip across the top as well, just right there. And there's one interior pocket, and or one interior zipper pocket. And then two open pockets. And it's super clean on the inside, unlined. This one is made in Mexico, I believe. No, but no, this one's United States. Just kidding. This one's United States, not Mexico. This one's made in the United States. And yeah. Beautiful bag. The crossbody strap is adjustable. It doesn't have the original hang tag, though. So this one doesn't have the hang tag. Hey, Koi Pond, a.k.a. Dapperly Grungy. <laughs> Legacy Zip. Thank you, Tanya. This is our Vintage Coach Legacy Zip with brass hardware made in USA. This one is... We're going to do this one for 65 That's going to be item number 14. You're weighing yourself? Why are you doing that right now, Peter? You've been lurking and watching. <laughs> Alright, that was number 14. 15 is up next. Okay, our next item is... Oh, I still have this guy. This is our Celine. It it's brand new. It comes with the dust bag. It's Celine um, pouch wallet. It's in this gray quilted leather. Silver hardware has a little C logo right there. And then the interior has um, just two built-in card slots. Right there, and then there's a little Celine made in Italy to stamping right there. It's super cute, and the leather is super soft too. And I like the quilting, it kind of looks like a chocolate bar. And it will come with a dust bag. <laughs> okay, this is number 15. This is our 
quilted gray leather Celine zip wallet with silver hardware and we have this one at Okay, we're gonna do this one for one forty-five. This is in brand new condition. Um, any more SLGs? Do I have any more SLGs? I'm like so low on SLGs right now. I don't think I have very much. I don't think I have anything that you haven't already seen done. Unfortunately. Uh, I don't have any no, I don't have anything. Hopefully, I'll find some tomorrow when I go out. But no SLGs at the moment. Any new ones, at least, that you haven't seen. Oh, I still have these Dior sunglasses. These come with a case. These are so pretty. And these are like an aviator style. These are chic. I just wish they were a little bit bigger because they look a little too small. But even if you have like a wide face like me, it will fit really nicely. It's just vertically. Yeah. I feel like these are like Bella Hadid sunglasses. She would like wear something like this. Um, they have a gold frame. They have the little CD hardware right there on the sides and a gray lens. These are in like new condition. Really, really nice. And these come with the original case as well. They have like a little bit of like a cat eye style. So this is number 16. Our Dior Gold Cat Eye Aviators with gold hardware and case. And these are... Okay, we're going to discount these to $150. That's going to be item number 16. Does anyone have any fun plans for tomorrow? I'm just going to go do some more thrifting. Hey, Anne, how's it going? Okay, next up. We have... Oh, since Auntie, I'll show you guys the Chanel tote. <laughs> this is our Chanel tote bag. She's a beauty. What else can I say about her? She's stunning. So if anyone's interested, she is still available. Trisha, pa Trisha Paytas has the same one available in her Poshmark as well. So this is our Chanel PVC and leather quilted tote bag with silver hardware. And this one is, hey Norma! Hana, don't even worry about it. Well, how much? Okay, this is 2,500. <laughs> and... At least I'm not showing the Loewe puzzle, the large one. Yeah, no, she's gonna like send the label, remember? Yeah, no, you don't, you just need the measurements and the thing. All right, next up, we got 18. I'm flying to Honolulu. Oh, you're going to go to Honolulu? Oh. <laughs> and no, I wouldn't sell it. I love that bag. I actually want another large um, puzzle. So someone buy this Chanel tote for me so I can buy a large puzzle bag. I need another one in my life. All right, we have 18 next, and for number 18, I have, oh, I have, I, how do I have so much vintage coach today? I didn't even like, notice. 
Um, this one, I don't think I've ever, wait, have I had, maybe I have had this one before. Um, this is a, I don't know the style name, <laughs> if anyone can help me out, but this is a little crossbody flat bag. Um, the crossbody strap is adjustable. This has brass hardware. It has the original hang tag. There is a pocket on the back. And turn lock opens up. It is unlined. We've got a zipper pocket in there. The interior is actually really nice and clean. There's just a couple small pen marks in the very bottom corners you see right there. And then on the other side as well. And this one is... This is the one that's made in Mexico. So... This one's made in Mexico. Um, just some rubbing on the corners. Nothing too crazy. I really like the color of this one. I don't really... I don't think I really ever find this color at all. I've only ever found this color a handful of times. And the style... I feel like I might have found it maybe like twice before. Maybe. I don't quite remember. But... Ah, uh, I don't talk about the totes. I still need one. I really, I don't know if I'll do the two, the, if, I don't know if I would do the two-tone. I think I would just want maybe like a classic black or brown is what I'm leaning towards. Um, just because I want just like a, like a basic colored one. But, I don't know. Companion pouch. Thank you, Tanya. This is our vintage coach companion pouch. And I don't really know what to call it. I would call it like maybe like a vanilla color. Vanilla cream. Oh, it's not called that. I got back from RV show. <gasps> How was the RV show? Did you, did you pick out an RV that you want to get? Anyway, how much is this one, Adrian? Vintage. Oh, wait, maybe it is the companion pouch. Adrian just found it online. Alright, this one is going to be $65. That's going to be item number 18. $65 for our companion pouch. I like the name companion pouch. <laughs> now you're the one that's singing, Vedran. I know. I love that song. For some reason, whenever I hear that song, I think of my sister's kindergarten graduation because her teacher which became my mom's one of my mom's like best friends she's a really really good singer and she sang that song it's uh, i believe the children of the future by um whitney houston and that is like all i can think of whenever i hear that song i always think of her singing it Ooh. Oh, you know what I really like are, um, they're the, 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 the tin foil looking, um, RV things that like attach to your car. Uh, what are they called? Not a Winnebago. They're, they're like this, oh, is it Arrow? No. Arrow. Airstream! Airstream. I love Airstreams. I think they're so cool. Uh... I think Pottery Barn came out with an Airstream, and it's so nice. <laughs> I was like, Mom, do you need an Airstream? That would be so cool. Yeah, yeah, that's it, the Airstream. They're so nice. Like a vintage Airstream. I love when people fix them up. They're so cool. Like, I just love the look of them. Like, the, the aesthetic is definitely spot on. 
I know they're so expensive. That's why people buy like old airstreams and then they they restore them because I think it ends up being cheaper than buying like a brand new one. But it's just like a lot of work. Like I saw, um, I I was following someone that bought a, like an old airstream, and then it turns out that like the whole bottom of like the airstream was rusted. So they had to get like a whole new bottom portion of the airstream, which was really, really expensive. So oh, they had boats. Oh, imagine living in a houseboat. That would be so cool. They have, Adrian, haven't you seen like those really big like houseboats? And they just like have them like, um, there's like that place in like going to up towards San Francisco and we went like my family and I like we went there once and there was like a really good burger restaurant that was on like Food Network that we ate at but uh, across the street from there like they have like these ports and they're just all just like there and that's like where they are all the time and you kind of just pay for the spot and it's really cool. Yeah, it's like a camper. <gasps> I think I saw that, Don. I'd be scared. <laughs> Same. I'd be scared of the sharks that are probably going to attack me. I'm, I'm, a, I'm like, I have like it's an irrational fear of sharks. When I was little, I used to think sharks were going to come out of the shower. The shower head. But... I, I still think they're really, really cool. I was watching a show um, on... I forgot what channel it was. Or, like, what station it was on. But I was watching with my, with my brother and then my cousin when she was here, when she was staying with us. And it's, like, this show where people, like, renovate boathouses. And they look... They were so cool. I was like, I would love to stay in one. They're so amazing. Okay, our next item is number 19. And for numero 19, I was thinking about keeping this one because I think it's so cool. We'll see if anyone wants it. And then if not, I might keep this one. This is a Rothy's tote. But this one zips across the top. I have that other one that looks like a creamsicle. That one does not zip. And this one has like... Um, the colors and like the straps. This one is like um, the heavy duty version, I think, of that one. Um, it also does have like the little rubber feet on the bottom, which are really nice. And like I said, it zips across the top. And the interior has a zipper pocket, which is nice as well. And that's pretty much it. It's in really, really great shape. Um, I love the colors. The colors are phenomenal on this one and this is gonna be how much for for this guy it's like a tan and then like a it's almost like a gray and then the orange da don't say that dapperly grungy I don't <laughs> it's gonna make me not want one <gasps> the the massive those double decker RVs are crazy. They're so huge. Um, so this is our Rothy's zip tote bag in tan, gray, and orange. And this is how much you're gonna be here. What did you say? Wait, what? Oh, I thought you said a hundred and ninety five. I was like, wow, that's expensive. Okay, we're going to do this one for $120. That's going to be item number 19. I was like, $195, Adrian. How expensive are these things? I know these Rothy's totes are pretty expensive, though. Like, the retail for these is... Aren't they, like, really, like, like $450 or something? I think. Right? Um, the tote straps are really nice too. Nice and long. This is actually like the perfect color combo for fall. And 
I like that this one has the feats. The feetsies. Alright, next up. What do we got? We have... This is that reversible coach bag I showed you guys last time. I totally forgot that I still had it. Um, one side looks like this. It has like the red. And then it has the flower uh, details on the sides. And then the sides are blue. You open it up. And then it becomes a whole different bag. And then you can reverse it. And now, it's all floral. You got the blue floral, the red floral sides. It has gunmetal hardware. This is so cool and innovative. I love seeing things like this. It still has the original hang tag on there. And the interior has a zipper pocket and an open pocket. <gasps> and I did see that. I also love that, like, Kim Kardashian is, like, the new model <laughs> for Marc Jacobs. For, but for Marc Jacobs 7, it's Bella Hadid. Did you see the? Did you see that? Also, um, Vadrian is really sad because the pieces that we thought were going to come out did not come out, like the Don Darko stuff. I guess they didn't come out in this drop, so we're still waiting. And this is number 20. Reversible coach crossbody flap bag. And this is how much feed ring? I feel like I have so many bug bites all over me. This is like the summer of bug bites. I can't wait for th I got a bug bite on my hand. Like right there. Do you see it? Ugh. Okay, this one is... We showed it last time, Vader. Um, let's just do this one for $60. Sorry, Vader. Alright, that's item number 20. I think we had it at 75 though. But... Oh, you saw it? Really? Or are you just agreeing with me? <sighs> that's so weird. <laughs> Also, I'm really hungry. What time is it? It was 85? Oh. A deal. Alright, next up is number 21. I don't know, Adrian. Next up, we have... We have our extra large Balenciaga day bag in black. This has gunmetal hardware. She's beautiful. She's got a nice big front pocket right there. And then a one interior zipper pocket inside of here. She's in really great shape. The leather is super soft. I also have the little orange one too, the little orange crossbody bag. Ooh, what are you having for dinner, Tanya? Okay, we have this one at three eighty five. Let's do a little discount though. What's the best we can do for this one? Maybe three sixty five. That's gonna be number twenty one. Okay, so that's number 21. Next up, we got number 22. Oh, look, I have that, the smaller version of that red bag in white. That I had, that, um, I had earlier. Okay, next we have... Oh, this one's really pretty. Okay. This is... <gasps> Chicken wings. Oh my gosh. I really want to go to Wingstop so bad. That sounds so delicious. I love... Okay. What's your favorite flavor of wings? Like, 
Do you guys like like a barbecue sauce? Do you like a hot and spicy, like a mango habanero? My favorite is mango habanero from Wingstop. It's so spicy, but so delicious. It's actually not too spicy. I know, like, I think it's supposed to be one of the spiciest, like the second or third spiciest, like, flavors that they have. But for me, it's like, honestly, just perfect. It is so, so good. My mouth is watering. I think I'm going to get that. I really want some. Uh, but this is a beautiful Marnie hobo bag. Uh, the leather on this is so soft and squishy. Like, it's amazing. It's in this, um, it's like a gray, but it, like, look, it has, like, a, like, purple in it, too. So it's, like, a gray, purple, like, a putty kind of color. Um, one side has a little turn lock right here. And then on the other side, it just um, discreetly says Marnie right there on the very bottom. And it just has, like, the screws, the screws in the top. The bag is super duper slouchy. It looks like a bag from the row. They have a bag, like, very similar to this. Um, it sits just really nicely on your shoulder. It's, like, very chic. Oh, I'm falling over. Very chic. And cool. I feel like it's very, like, French. It's very, like, European. Very, also, like, very, like, New York. Um, the interior is just unlined. It is just suede on the inside. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful bag. Like, it's so cool. And then... The little maiden tag is all the way down here somewhere. The bottom. I can find it. Ah, uh, here we go. It is. They always just hide it all the way in the bottom, but the little maiden tag is just right there. And the inside, like the inside, it does have like some slight discoloration, just like right there. It looks like said thing might have spilled a little bit. But I think it'll come out with, like, an eraser or something. But honestly, it's not that bad. It's, like, just right there. But it's chic. It's cool. This is how it looks, like, without it being um, done up. Very fabulous. Ooh, Tanya, that sounds delicious. That should be our next question. Like, what's your favorite, like, chicken wing flavor? I love Marnie bags. This is really cool. I feel like Marnie sometimes is, like, underrated in terms of, like, handbags. Um, the bottom corners do have a very slight rubbing. But otherwise, like, the rest of the bag is in beautiful shape. The leather is gorgeous. There's no... Oh, no, there's a couple marks right there. I didn't even notice. You see those right there on that side? They're not, like, super noticeable, but there's, like, very light marks. Um, the other side doesn't really have anything. Just, like, this... Like a slight, kind of like maybe patina to the leather. But the other side definitely has like a couple little splotches on there. There's a bigger one like right there. And then like one, two right there. But again, they're not very noticeable. Okay. I talked about this bag long enough. Sorry. <laughs> this is our um, gray leather Marnie... Um, extra large hobo shoulder bag with silver hardware. And this is... Okay, we're going to do this one for $120. It's going to be number 22. $120 for number 22. For our Marnie hobo bag. Number 22. Why did I think that was a mosquito? I think I'm getting paranoid about mosquitoes. I told <gasps> this morning I woke up and there was a mosquito in my room. I just know it feasted on me all night long. It's probably so full, but I, I, I got it. 
I like was able to smack it. Even I was like running around my room trying to get it. It's probably where I got this bite on my hand. I also have a couple on my leg. Ugh. They're so gross. I hate them. All right, next up, got 23. I think we're just gonna go to 25 tonight, though, and then I'm gonna go stuff my face. Um, but again, I'm gonna leave the link really quick for the giveaway in case uh, people haven't had a chance to enter. We're giving away another one of these furla pouches tonight. Oh, I have, we have a zapper. I turn it on every night. It's in the hallway outside, but this is the first time a mosquito has ever gotten into my room. Um, this is the furla pouch that we're giving away tonight. You can answer in the comments of the video. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And yeah, we have just a, a couple more items. Number 23 is next. I did all those. Oh, I still have this little Tory Burch cross body bag. This was in black pebbled leather with gold hardware. Has the magnetic top flap. Inside just has one interior pocket right there. And this one's in pretty good condition as well. Leather is nice and soft. Hardware is um, nice and bright. It doesn't have too much wear on the hardware at all. And this is going to be item number 23. Black, small, toy birch crossbody bag with gold hardware. The crossbody strap is adjustable, just not removable. And this one is... Okay, this one is 110. That's number 23. 24 is next. I know West Coast got the mosquito bites are so itchy. I got one of those little things. Yeah, it's like a gray purple. I have like one of these things. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but like you put it on your bug bite like this and then you, it like sucks out the like the chemical that it's pretty much just their saliva, right? That's what you're allergic to when they bite you and it makes it itchy. Um, that's what it helps suck out. and But you kind of have to do it like for like right like almost immediately after you get a bug bite or like right when you notice it because if you let it sit for too long it doesn't really work that well but if you get it like right away it is amazing though you're it'll still kind of itch a little bit at first but then it goes away and then you don't get like what happened to like my leg where you get like these like the bites like that like you don't get those the marks especially if you're allergic to them like i am so it actually works out. This was like six bucks, I think, on Amazon. Um, you kind of got to get used to it, though, because like when you first do it, it kind of hurts. And you kind of have almost like, it looks like almost like a hickey, but it goes away. So, <laughs> Adrian's laughing at me. But honestly, it works so well. Okay, this is our next item. This is a Madewell Crescent Half Moon Bag. And it's in this tan leather. This is a brand new with tags. Super cute. I think I might have shown this once before too. But the leather is super duper soft. I just have it super stuffed right now. But it's unlined on the inside. Still has the original tags that are attached right there. And it has one interior pocket. A really really good size number 24 Madewell tan crescent bag oh Linda I I recommend it the only thing is when you get like a lot of bites you can actually buy them in like set like little packs of more than one like when I bought this I was like oh I only need one but then, like, you get multiple bites, and I'm like, oh, I wish I had, like, three or four of these. So I actually recommend getting a couple, like, getting a pack. They're not really expensive. I think, like, for a pack of three or something, it's, like, $10, and you can get them on Amazon. Yeah. 
I recommend getting a couple in case you get multiple bites. Which is wh apparently what these new mosquitoes that are in California are known for. They bite multiple times. And like in little clusters. And it, they bite, they can bite through clothing. And they're like aggressive and annoying. Okay, how much was this bag we do? This one is $60. Six zero. That's number 24. Sorry, I'm like feeling passionate about the mosquitoes. I'm out of control. But this thing really works. I actually, I think I'm gonna get like a couple more. I like literally, every time I go outside, I bring it with me. I should actually bring it with me when I go thrifting because I will get bug bites while I'm out thrifting. Like, you know how like mosquitoes can get into stores? <gasps> Awful. When I go to the store, especially like veterans thrift, the mosquitoes like live there. And I get, like, mosquito bites when I'm there. They're so annoying. Alright, last item is 25. And... Was there anything that I missed? That I just got from today. Oh, I have this belt! Okay, this is pretty cool. Um, this is actually a... Like a vintage coach belt. Um, this one's made in Costa Rica. And it's a size 34. It's literally like brand new. It still has the hang tag. It has a little thing that hangs from the coach door. And it has the original little tag on it as well. Um, but yeah, it's a size 34. It's in a British tan. I think is the name of the color, right? Yeah, I just... And tan, size 34, has a brass buckle. Nice and simple, but super cute. It's so cool that it's like vintage, but it's like literally like brand new still. Made in Costa Rica, like I said, size 34, vintage coach belt. It's number 25. Vintage coach belt in tan made in Costa Rica. Size 34. And we're going to do this one for $50. That's item number 25. $34. It even has a little hang tag, which is cool. I don't know if you would wear it with the belt, but it's cool to have a hang tag for your belt. <laughs> Vadrian would wear it. And that is our last item for the evening. Oh, quickly, I bought this at the Goodwill. It's, um... <laughs> I don't know if anyone watches Rick and Morty, but it's Pickle Rick, and you it's like a cup you can drink out of it. You just put a straw inside, but it has Pickle Rick inside, and I thought it was really, really funny. This was $4. This is my thrift find of the day, is Pickle Rick. Hand wash only. Do not soak. Oh. I almost chopped it earlier, and I was bringing it into the house. Okay, but that is our last item for the evening, is our Vintage Coach Belt. Let me leave the link one more time for the giveaway. I know it's late. I was like, I want to end early so we don't end at, like, midnight because it's, like, super duper late. I'm going to start trying to do the lives on Saturdays at, like, 9 o'clock, maybe. Um, I just need to get better at leaving a lot earlier than I'm normally used to because I, I try to stay until, like, the store is closed because I feel like I'm trying to optimize time. But, oh, Erica, you know Pickle Rick. Yes, I have, a, I have a Pickle Rick shirt. I have, yeah. My brother and I both love uh, Rick and Morty. We think it's hilarious. All right, well, let's pick our winner, though. So, um, invoices should be sent out 15 minutes, but within 15 minutes after the live ends. Um, just like normal, and then... I don't know when the next live is going to be, either Monday or Tuesday, maybe, I think. And then, 
Um, yeah. Hopefully I find some new stuff tomorrow. And yeah, anyway. Okay, let's check our winner. In three, two, one. Do, 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 do. Our winner tonight is... Lady Badger! I would pay nine dollars. I hate loud noise and too. Lady Badger, we are the same. I also do not like loud noises and too many people. I don't even know if I would pay nine dollars. Honestly, you probably have to like force me to go. But congratulations, Lady Badger, you are the winner tonight of our Burla pouch, and we'll have one more for the next giveaway. So um, tune in next time to enter that. But congratulations, Lady Badger, you are the winner tonight. Uh, but thank you guys so much for coming. Um, but, yeah, next week, I'm going to try to do it at 9 p.m. So, I'll try to start a little earlier. Uh, but thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me tonight. Have a great Saturday tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your weekends. Have a great week. Um, but yeah. Love you guys so much. And, um, have a great day tomorrow. And I love you all immensely. And I'll see you guys all later. Alright, bye guys! Adios, sayonara, bon voyage, adios, adios,